Hey guys, Nova Joe here, and it's time for another team review. This time, the EDF-5 team. So as you guys know, that consists of the Ranger, the Wing Diver, the Air Raider, and the Fencer. We're going to be covering all their abilities as well as their special attacks and just uh, show you what they have to offer here for Earth Defense Force World Brothers. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. Alright guys, the first EDF-5 teammate we're going to look at is the Ranger. And the Ranger has some nice mobility. As you can see here, he moves at a pretty good rate of speed. And if you press in L3, he does a dash. And it's infinite, doesn't use any energy or anything like that, so that's really good. Uh, his L2 is kind of lackluster. It's just his traditional role. I mean, it's uh, what we're used to seeing in like uh, in 4 as well as 2017, 2025, things of that nature. It's more traditional than it is, so in my opinion, useful. I mean, yeah, you can roll out of the way of stuff, but um, you would almost expect to think that his L2 would be something a little bit more, I don't know, uh, worthwhile, especially since it has a little bit of a, a charge before you can do it again. It's not much of a charge, doesn't really get in the way, but you'd almost think it would just be relegated to being a standard move instead of being set up as a special move. All right, now, his super attack is a healing blast, and you'll see that here in just a minute. Uh, the healing blast is is just the same as, like, the healing gun that he had in the other mainline games. So, you got your teammates here, you need to heal them. You just press R3, and you will shoot out a healing blast. And it doesn't stay for long. It just hits the ground, explodes, and heals anybody who's in the vicinity so there you go guys this is the ranger for edf5 okay next up is the wing diver so let's go ahead and flip on over there to her now the wing diver when you press l3 with her she does a quick little dash across the ground and as you can see it does use your energy meter use a certain portion of it this dash is just like the dash that she has in the mainline game in five. Uh, it's not constant uh, like what you saw with uh, the jet trooper where you just hold it in and they just keep dashing. So it is, it's just a quick little boost that sends you across the ground. Then you can fly. And the flying is no different than like an EDF-5. And as you can see there, she does have a recovery. So you press L2 when you get knocked. Uh, back and you can recover so there's she plays pretty much identical to the way that she played uh, in the mainline game and you'll see here in just a second what her special is as soon as I fill it up and as you can see I just overloaded her jetpack <laughs> so now I'm out of juice all right and there are no like optional jetpacks you can get on here but you don't really need anything other than just the one that you get because you just watch what you're doing. Now, here's her special. I call it the plasma spinner. We're going to do it right here in front of these guys. Get on the ground and do it. And it just sends out this orb that just hits the ground. And as you can see here, goes out in every direction and just decimates anybody who gets in the way of it. So she's very nimble, she's very fast, she is just like uh, in the main line. She has very low armor and she armors up very slowly. So nothing new there. She, comparing her to the other flyers, she is not my favorite though. Um, that still is, is left to the flyers of Insect Armageddon as well as Iron Rain. The, the flying classes there just feel like they're more versatile than she than she does, especially when she's got this little boost dash that really just yeah it's traditional. That's the way she is in five, but it just doesn't really help you a lot. I mean, as you can see here, she dashes left and right. It'll get you out of way of harm if you need to. All right, guys, that is the wing diver. All right, next on the list is the Air Raider, and this is our traditional support class. 
let's go ahead and flip on over here to the aerator now when you press L3 with him he has a roll and his roll is just like uh, the Rangers L2 ability so this is why I'm kind of miffed that the Rangers L2 ability is just a traditional roll when as you can see here pressing L3 just lets you it doesn't take up your ability slot but then again the Ranger can dash and the aerator cannot so L2 for the aerator is a wonderful missile bombardment and as you can see here it throws a little ring down and here comes the missile and it drops quite a few and does a good amount of damage and doesn't take too long to reload so it is a very very potent ability and can do a lot of damage whether it be to boss enemies or to groups of standard enemies it's just a really nice attack so we're gonna throw it out here again see if we can get this special meter filled come on in here guys there we go missile attack again now go ahead and get out of the way here and I'm going to call in his special ability or his special attack which in this case is the laser strike all right big guys here we go laser strike let's get out of the range of the laser strike and there you go guys a laser bombardment piling down on top of the enemy does a good job definitely can clear out uh, groups of enemies quickly and can do a nice amount of damage to the bosses especially since you can just pin it right to them and then the bombardment will just lay right into them all right guys that is the air raider okay now for the final teammate for edf5 and that is our tank the fencer and the fencer is kind of growing on me and that is because i finally figured out what he's he's good at in this game uh he does he, he walks real slow as you can see here that's normal for the fencer but he comes with a booster pack that when you press L3 it'll allow you to boost in the air but you can continue to press L3 and continue to boost until all of your uh, boost meter is gone and as you can see here I just covered a large amount of, of area just using the boost jump so his L3 is a boost jump now if you press L2 he will boost dash but what's nice about this is if you boost jump you can boost dash in the air so if you're trying to get to some of those hard to reach places you can just boost jump right up in the air and then boost dash across to it so that is very much just like what you saw in the mainline series so go ahead and fill his meter up and I've ran out of ammo so <laughs> be just a second here all right, here we go. Let's fill it up. And something else I do want to add, because I did not equip it, but like when you equip one of the javelins, he can actually uh, dash cancel. They've actually set it up so that you can uh, hit L2 and then launch your javelin, hit L2 again, and you can speed across the ground uh, quite quickly. All right, here we go. This should fill him up. All right, he is ready to go. Now, his super attack is a hammer smash. Now, let's get some enemies close by. All right, let's see here. Let's see, I've used up my dashes, so... There we go. Look how quickly I can get over here. All right, now, hammer smash. Actually, it's a double hammer smash. And there you go blew that enemy to pieces so, all right guys that is the fencer he has he, like I said he moves very slow but his boost jump in correspondence with his dash will allow him to cover ground quickly and like I said if you have equipped him with one of his uh, spears javelins 
you can then dash cancel just like you did in EDF4 and EDF5. You just simply press L2 to boost, hit your javelin, press L2 to boost again, and it, it works flawlessly. All right, guys, that is the fencer. That is the entire EDF5 team. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. Comment down below on uh, your experiences using these, these guys or other guys on the team. And stay tuned. There's more to come. So as always, guys, take care. God bless and keep on gaming.